Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CV Winners video series on design patterns and this video is about adapter design pattern and it is really very easy and nowadays it's even more easy because we have so many adapters around us. You remember that type C USB to type A USB that is an adapter and type A to type C Ethernet to HDMI and there is a big list. All these things are kind of an adapter. The point is actually you have a mobile and it supports type C but you don't have type C type charger then what you will do you have lightning cable so you need an adapter where you will insert this lightning cable from that lightning cable the output should be type C and you will insert that cable which is of type C so the same model is actually applied in software engineering also so in software engineering also there is a client which actually wants to call some API or something which is not compatible meaning your client can call maybe some paint function and it can provide only two parameters like X and Y and now maybe suddenly you got a library which is very advanced library and you want to use this library but it has paint with three parameters X, Y and Z meaning it can print in 3D. So X and Y is like this but Z is like this so meaning it can print in 3D okay not here sorry here okay but actually your client meaning your application or whatever you want to use have this but it wants to call to this so you you can see that you can't call something like this correct because you can call only this but you want to call this so it is not going to work correct now you need some intermediate adapter which you will call same thing only this guy but inside that it will call this guy with filling this z is equal to zero most of the time people try to change this guy only they will put this zero here and then you don't need any adapter no but sometimes when there is a dependency on this kind of apis and this point is actually used so many places so if you'll end up changing here it will lead to so many changes so what people do they just simply create an adapter and they will call adapter adapter will call this one so we are increasing the complexity because you are introducing new interfaces and stuff which will actually route your call then you have introduced one more class but it will ease out your work so it's up to you like what you will use when you are going to develop and how heavy or light it would be to introduce an adapter or not introduce an adapter or sometimes it's like it's mandatory you don't have any option so you have to go for the adapter so this was enough theory let's go for the practicals now hey guys time for a quick pause and what you are seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now so here is the thing you have indian socket and usa socket so what i mean is you have an Indian socket kind of charger but you want to plug it into some USA socket okay so Indian charger USA socket you can't go for it correct so you need an adapter right so this is that adapter and you're saying that this will have this one and this one together meaning it will have Indian socket as an input but output would be USA socket and your client which is this main function it only supports Indian charger so we will call Indian charge but internally through this socket adapter it will end up calling USA charge. So we have two sockets or two classes you wanted to make compatible with. So this is how you will do it. There are several ways to achieve the same thing and this is one of the way and I find that this is pretty interesting. So and it is quite intuitive also see you have Indian socket you are creating a type of Indian socket you have Indian socket and then you are attaching adapter to that can you see that and then you just want to plug it and forget you don't want to see what's there okay and you know that okay it is Indian to 
USA type of converter, meaning this adapter, it will do its job. So you are calling Indian charge, but it is actually calling USA charge and this is where it is charging. Simple, right? So now there is a, one more interesting thing, like you have this Indian, but there are multiple charges, right? This Indian to USA, Germany, and some other countries. Now how to make that one? So it's a single adapter. You want a single cable, which will have one input, which is like Indian and several other outputs. And you want to choose, obviously you will only choose like what you will put in the board, electricity board, correct? So you will plug this one, meaning if it is USA, then you can put into USA board only, right? So you will take and put it inside this. And obviously this is Indian. So you will put it into your mobile. So this is work. And maybe you went to some other country, maybe Germany, then you will put this Germany into Germans socket or board. So it will work like that. So you are choosing, right? So now when you are calling this, you have to choose. So I'll show you that how it will be done. So let's go for some Germany charger. I'll just simply copy paste this and make it G socket public paste. Now this is not USA charger. This is G charge. Okay. So this will charge like G plug and charging. Okay. And this is like now the conditional. So you will have Indian charger only, but now you need an input. So this is like type. I will have type here. It is very simple. So Indian charger, why it is crying? Okay. Because this interface is not giving it the type here. Okay. So this is cool. This is cool. And then we will have different, different chargers. So sometime I will connect to one, sometime I'll connect to two. So let's run this. I'll compile this, execute this. Oh, it's not doing anything. Why? Oh my God. What the heck? And <laughs> okay. This is what happens when you code so much. <laughs> See, USA plug is charging and G plug is charging. So you guys might be shouting like, what? Hey, look at that. What are you typing? Huh, I know. <laughs> okay. Sorry. So that's why you should not use these intelligence and automatically created code. So no, that's wrong. You can use it. No problem. So you, you understood, right? So see how beautiful it is. You are choosing like, okay, I have Indian charger, but this is what I'm going to connect with. This is what I'm going to connect with. I have an Indian charger. No problem. So you can modify this as you want. Maybe uh, instead of typing the charge type or maybe charger type, you can send the charger. Like you can send this type itself from here and then you will call that function on that object. Meaning you can pass the object of that from here and you can do that. So it depends like how you want to achieve it. And this is the simplest form you can think of. So we are done here. We'll sum up. Thanks guys. Keep learning. Keep growing. Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next videos.